Hi everyone, this is Joyce Minions Art, and in this video I want to share a cool little tool and shader combination I made for my game Astrocat. I have a grass geometry shader and an editor tool that lets you paint grass, remove it, and edit the colors, height, and width. I'll be going over the setup. And you can find all the resources in the description of this video. So how do we set this up? Uh, here I am in a very new Unity project. This is in version 2020.1, but it should also work in older versions. And we're going to need two scripts and one shader. And if you go over to the first link in the description of this video, you will find this Patreon post where everything is linked, so grab the Geometry Painter script and the Grass Painter Editor script and copy all the code and create a new script for them in Unity and paste in the copied code and again for the second script And finally, we need to add the grass shader, which is in the first link in the post. So go all the way down on this article. Click on the paste bin link and copy the code. And back in Unity, create a new shader. It doesn't matter which one you choose because we're going to replace all the code anyway. There we go. Now we just need to create a little scene. And to start painting the grass, create a new empty game object. Go to add component and find the geometry painter script. It will automatically add a mesh filter and a mesh renderer. It's just missing a material right now. So right click on the geometry shader and create a new material. And assign it to our grass object. And now we are ready to start painting. Go to increase the brush size. And set the brush color to something. And by right clicking I can paint grass. Now this is a super low density, so let's increase that. Also make the brush a little bit smaller. And there we go. As you can see right now it's placing it everywhere. And there's some adjustments we can make to that. If you look over here at the normal limit, you can see that this is set to 1, which means it'll paint on anything that the raycast will hit. If we bring this down to like 0.1, it'll only paint on top of things. So as you can see, it's no longer going on the sides of these meshes. And the, uh, the tool has three modes. So add what we just did, remove to remove, and then edit, which lets you make changes to the existing grass. So if we want the grass to be uh, much thinner but longer, and maybe we want it to be um, orange, you just go over it again. Or if we want it to be short but thick and uh, purple, we can do that as well. You can also add in more color variety. If I set all of these to one, uh, it'll basically be any color. It's still based on the brush color, so if I set this to white, it should be 
yeah, basically a rainbow. So if you want uh, cotton candy grass, then there you go. And one more thing is, um, if you look here, you can see that there are two different layer mask set. The first is all of the colliders it will hit, and the second one is where it will actually paint. So if you have a large area you want to paint grass on, but there's a bunch of obstacles in the way that you don't want the grass to be on, you can exclude a layer here. So let's say I only want to paint on the floor and not on these obstacles. I'll set the floor to be, uh, for example, on the water layer. And all of my obstacles are still on the default layer. I'll make sure that the hit mask is set to be both on default and water. And the painting mask is just set to water. And now I can paint around all of the obstacles. You still gotta change uh, the camera angle to get uh, all of the spots, but other than that, uh, it works pretty nicely. So yeah, that's basically the setup. The uh, geometry shader itself has a bunch more settings. I added the distance limit so it won't render if it's too far away. Uh, which you can set with the min and max distance. It'll create a gradient over the min and max distance, so it sort of slowly fades away. And there's more color settings and wind settings and all of that. It's also interactive, so if you want to use the interactive part, you need to add one more script. You can find this script back in the geometry shader post. Uh, it's down here under the header interactivity, so grab this. It's basically just one line sending the position of your character to the shader. So copy this and create a new script. And then you just have to add it onto your character. So I'm going to use a capsule, add component, shader interactor. And now when I hit play, the grass will react to where the capsule is. And you can change the settings in the grass here. And I think that's everything. Uh, so that's my grass painting tool. If you want more of an explanation on how it works, uh, the linked posts have a breakdown and I tried my best commenting the code. I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching. If you want more tutorials, please check out my GitHub page. I've got tons of posts and articles about stylized 3D and effects in Unity there.